All presbyopia correcting eye wells usually produces glare and halos and these symptoms of dysphotopsia are more pronounced when the eye well is not centered on the patient's visual axis. Performing the surgery under topical anesthesia solves the problem of centration to a certain extent. Multiple technologies are now available in the microscope to mark the patient's visual axis using coaxial illumination and image superimposition during the surgery. Here, I demonstrate a simple technique using the Purkinje images to center the presbyopic eye wall on the patient's visual axis. We all know that the Purkinje image 4 is the only real inverted image. Hence, eye wall centration can be achieved by aligning the Purkinje image 1 to the Purkinje image 4 to the center of the central ring of the presbyopic correcting eye wall. Normally, the visual axis is situated 0.3 mm nasal to the pupillary axis. This image shows the eye wall central ring is placed on the visual axis which is nasal to the pupillary axis or the center of the pupil. These small adjustments help the surgeon to reduce the troublesome glare and halos in our patients. However, when the sum of the coordinates of x and y of chord length mu, otherwise known as angle kappa, is more than 0.6 mm, care needs to be taken to implant a presbyopic eye in these cases. Here, the visual axis should be marked prior to surgery and the capsular axis should be performed center to this marking. The center of the ring of the eye should be placed on this visual axis mark.